guys, today I'm here to film my summer makeup must-haves for 2020. I cannot believe we are here already. We all have basically been quarantined all spring long, but I am excited to start using my summer makeup products. And if you didn't see last year's video, I'll link it in the cards because I actually have added a lot more stuff for this summer. And that's because basically, my fall makeup must-haves, I add so many products, specifically eyeshadows, that I never get around to using all of them. So I looked at those fall shadows and tried to decide which ones of those I thought would be nice in the summertime so that I can try to separate them a little bit. So that's what I did. So I actually have a lot of eyeshadow here and I'm hoping to be able to use a good bit of it, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen for the fact that I probably am gonna be quarantined for at least another month, which will, take away a lot of makeup wearing opportunities because I don't wear makeup when I'm at home and not filming, but we will see. So in these videos, I do go over products for eyes, cheeks, lips, and nails. This is a very product heavy video, so I will have everything listed in the description box. I do also mention things that were limited edition or discontinued, and that's not to rub it in your face. It's to encourage you to pull them out of your collection if you have them, and I'm simply letting you know what products I will be using this year. So starting with eyes, the type of colors I tend to reach for in the summer would be blues, olive greens, golds, bronzes, and a little hint of copper, but usually I'll save copper for summertime. So I'm gonna start with my single shadows in pots. So I have four ColourPop Super Shocks. This first one is Banana Daiquiri. It's an ultra metallic finish. ColourPop Snake Bite is also an ultra metallic finish. Color Pop As You Wave is also an ultra metallic finish. And then we have Threes of Cloud, which is also an ultra metallic finish. I have not used this one yet. It looks incredible in a swatch, so I can't wait to see how this looks on the eye. Then I have a J Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in the shade Orange You Happy. Then I have two Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. I'm absolutely in love with this formula. This first one is Top Yacht, which is like a golden champagne shade. I haven't worn this one too much, so I'm hoping to get some more use out of it. That would be a great day-to-day -day shade if I am going back to work anytime soon. Then we have my favorite one, which is Park Avenue Princess. This is the most amazing golden bronze color. It's so foiled on the lid. It's absolutely incredible. Then I have two ColourPop eyeshadow singles from the Zodiac collection. This one is Pisces, which is a really pretty like green blue. It's a shimmer finish. And then we have Leo, which is my sign, which is like a copper gold. So I haven't used those ColourPop eyeshadows that much before either. Then I have three singles from Natasha Denona. So one of these I got as a gift and the other two I purchased from eBay. These were in an Allure Beauty Box a little while ago and that's why I'm pretty sure that they're on eBay and they're a really, really great price. So the first one I have here is Morgana, which is a really pretty like hot orange copper color. Looks really stunning. And then we have Abad, Abade. It's spelled A-U-B-A-D-E. Which is like a coppery gold. Then you have Bronzage, which is a metallic bronze color. That is so pretty as well. But then we have my custom Z palette for the summertime with all of my pan single shadows. So here's what my palette looks like. I have a lot more shades in here than normal, but as you can see, I have a lot of similar shades. So I'm hoping to get use out of all of these and possibly pair this collection down. So top row, we have blues and some golden olive. I can definitely get rid of, I think like one of those blues these and then plus that one color pop one I have that's six so that's a little too many then we've got different like golden bronzes and coppery golds in here then I've got a couple more shimmer neutrals and then these are four mattes I really think these are four really different tones that could pair nicely with these other shades and then this is just a square pan from Urban Decay Vice palette so the brands I have in here would be 
Luxy Beauty, MAC Colored Rain, Anastasia Color Pop. This one's Urban Decay. This one is from The Balm. So I am excited to get some use out of this. Then we have palettes. I have three mini palettes from Huda Beauty and then I've got some large palettes. So from Huda, for my more neutral everyday kind of palette, I have the Coral Obsessions, which is really, really pretty. I just feel like the mattes, you have to build up a decent amount, which I don't love. Then I've got two of her neon palettes. I have not used these yet and I've had them for a long time. So I hope that I love them. So this first one is the Neon Pink Obsessions, which has pinks and purples in here. This is something I probably could have used for spring, but it's a little bright for me, but we'll see what I think of it when I use it this summer. And then we've got Neon Coral, which is so beautiful. These are definitely intimidating to me, so I will definitely look up some tutorials using these palettes, but I really hope I enjoy this formula. Then for the large palettes, I have what I'm wearing on my eyes today, which is ColourPop Yes Please. I used up the matte cream. This is a dupe from Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Palette. This is Alamar Cosmetics Reina Del Caribe Volume 1. This is Tarte Adelaine Marin. This is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. Then I have the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. And lastly, I have the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. Now on to cheek products. As you guys know, I do have several different bronzers, contours, and highlighters in my collection. So I like to designate a specific one for each season. Now my collection has grown so much that I need basically one for every month. Actually, I can do probably two for every month, which is crazy, that's too many, so I need to get it down. But I will show you my go-to bronzer and contour for the summer, and then in my monthly makeup baskets, I'm gonna rotate in another bronzer as well. So I did already post my June makeup basket, which I will link in the cards but I didn't want to feature those because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to want and love to use for summer. I figured I would just show you my good old standbys. So these would be two limited edition bronzers from Milani. This is their matte baked bronzer formula, not their new matte formula, the matte baked. So this one is in the shade Sunset. It's the lighter of the two. You can see I've hit a lot of pan on this one. This is my go-to bronzer shade. Then we have the darker shade, which is Sienna, and I use this to contour. So these are very warm. They don't look orange on me most of the time. I feel like I used this in a video and I was like, yikes, but it didn't look that bad in person. So anyway, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of these anytime soon. I do absolutely love these. I don't mind that they look a little warm on my skin tone. So then for a highlighter, I have one that's gonna be my makeup basket every month. And then these three that I'm going to rotate. I already know these other three are gonna be perfect for summertime. So I'm gonna show them to you now, but my number one go-to is Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in Sin. This is a beautiful golden champagne shade that isn't as light as some of my other more warm champagne shades. So this just looks amazing on the skin. I am wearing this one today. Absolutely love that. And this was discontinued, but you can still find it sometimes at TJ Maxx. Then for my other three. This first one is from Ofra. This is in the shade Moondance. It is part of the Madison Miller collab. Just like a champagne gold. Then we have the Anastasia Amrezi highlight, which is a little darker and even more gold than the Ofra one. Here they are side by side. So this one I'm probably going to save till August when I get the most color to my skin. If I get any at all, I really honestly hate being outside. I cannot stand the heat. And then the other one I have is a Becca Champagne Pop, which is a little bit more on the peachy side. This one is normally too dark for me, but I do think this would work nicely for me in the summertime. And I just want to make this work because I think it is a beautiful shade. And then we have blushes and I'm not gonna describe all of these for you because they're all super similar. I've got some warm pinks, I've got some peachy pinks, but mostly we've got different colors of coral. So I do have one cream blush that I definitely recommend. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Coral Cloud. They do have 
four colors. I want all four of them. It's an amazing, amazing formula that applies really nicely over powder as well. Love this shade too. I, I wore it the other day and it was just as amazing as I remembered. Then I have several MAC blushes that I'm absolutely in love with. So this first one is a mineralized blush. This is Petal Power. It's very similar to NARS Orgasm. So if you've got something similar to this, you don't necessarily need this one. Similar to the Balm's Hot Mama as well, but this is the one in that shade range that I've kept in my collection. Then we have a whole bunch of MAC Limited Edition blushes, which just make me so happy. This first one is Fleet Fast from the Hey Sailor Collection. This is Hipness from the Wash and Dry collection. It's been in several other collections as well, but this is the packaging from the Wash and Dry collection. This is MAC Peaches and Cream from the Sharon Osborne collection. This is Ripe for Love from the Temperature Rising collection. This is Sweet Sweet Fantasy from the Mariah Carey Holiday collection. This is Painted Canyon from the Vibe Tribe collection, which has some of the most gorgeous packaging of all time. There was a real big controversy when this released because Mac was trying to say that this was festival inspired when it is obviously Native American inspired and the names in the collection were too. So it was cultural appropriation. The packaging is so beautiful. The shade is so beautiful. I love this blush so, so much. And then the last one from Mac is from the Simpsons collection. This is in the shade Side Show You. It's a huge pan. It's got Marge imprinted in it. It's such a perfect color for me. And then I do have a permanent MAC blush that I just have in pan form. This is Fleur Power. Then I have two of the Becca Luminous blushes. This first one is a mini in the shade Camellia. And then I have a full size of the shade Snapdragon. Next, we have a new one to me that I purchased from the BoxyCharm Facebook group. This is Hourglass Diffused Heat. Next, I have Benefit California. Then I have a couple blushes in this little palette. So this is Lorac Technicolor, and this is ColourPop My Sun and Stars and ColourPop So Retrograde. These were made in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I have not used these yet. I cannot wait to they look so beautiful and i'm so excited to use this little cheek palette it did drive me crazy that this one wouldn't fit in here as well but i'm happy with these three right here this is very beautiful to look at now we are on to lip products and this is definitely the category where my preferences have changed the most over the years i used to be into more bright lip colors not so much anymore i have one that you might be able to consider a little on the brighter side but basically everything else i have here is a nudie peach or a nude coral or like a very muted peach coral neutral you'll see when i swatch them i've got a couple bull lipsticks jumbo lip crayons liquid lipsticks glosses with like medium to full coverage and then we have glosses with light to medium coverage and they have a little bit of shimmer in them so i'm just going to show all of these to you and swatch them as we go i'm not really going to be describing them because again they're all pretty similar so this first one is a nude sticks nudies all over face color the matte formula and this is in the shade naughty and spice this is just a sample size next we have a limited edition mac lipstick from the Nicki minaj second collection I think or her most recent one and this is Nikki's Nude. It is an Amplify Cream Finish and here's what that color looks like. This doesn't look good with everything. I have to pair it with a lip liner and it just goes with certain makeup looks. Next we've got a lipstick from Colourpop. This is their Lux Matte Lipstick in the shade Name Drop. It's so smooth and creamy on my hand. And you can see the difference between those two shades. Then my last bullet lipstick is my brightest one in the bunch. This is the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Streak. It is a cream finish. And this is such a pretty corally color. You can see in comparison, it's definitely a lot brighter than the rest of these. Then for my two jumbo lip crayons, I have a Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Belle. This one needs a little bit of a sharpen and I'll swatch it next to that other nude sticks product you can tell it's a little darker a little pinker maybe and then I have the Sephora melting lip click lipstick in the shade number one caramel which is such a pretty warm nude and these are products where you click it for the product to 
go up, but you don't want to do it too much because it won't then come back down. And this is definitely a really sheer, comfortable formula. It doesn't last that long in the lips, but that's okay. I don't mind reapplying this one. Then for my liquid lipsticks, I have one of the Kylie Velvet Liquid Lips, and this is in the shade Charm. So right there is Charm. Then I've got two from Dose of Colors, which is my favorite formula. This first one is in the shade Flirty. This was one of the BoxyCharm exclusive shades, but you can probably still try to purchase this from the BoxyCharm Beauties Facebook group. There's Flirty. And then we have Dose of Colors Warm and Fuzzy. There's that one. So pretty. Then on to glosses, we have three with color. And that would be the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Mudslide, which is like a muted coral right there. I love that color. It's so pretty. Next, we've got the Tarte Tartise Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Goals. There it is, Golds. We have what I'm wearing today over top of a lip liner. This is the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint in Primal Instinct. So this one is more on the sheer side, but it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It just gives a really nice glossy look. Super comfortable. Then we've got my three glosses that have some shimmer and they're pretty light coverage. I have another of the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tints and this one is in the shade Orgasm. And you can't see it that well. It just has like a glow to it and like a hint of color on the lips. Then we've got two ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips, which I absolutely love. The more neutral color is Champagne Mommy. It's similar to the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. There's that one. And then we have the brighter color, which is Feedback. I absolutely love this one as well. And there is a swatch of Feedback. So here are the swatches up close of all of my lip colors. They're so freaking similar, it's insane. So I might not need all these in my life, but you know, I do have a decent amount of colors and formulas to be able to have some variety in these next three months but like i mean they're similar but as far as amount of products not too bad i think i can get use out of everything so my camera overheated that means the lighting is most likely different but all we have left is nail polish so i was really excited because i thought i only had 12 polishes which means i get to change my nails only once a week and i will get to wear all 12 of my colors but then i remembered i have three nine zero polishes that i choose to wear in the summer as well so now i have 15 that's still not bad considering a couple of these polishes i have already worn last month or the month before but i want to wear them again to see which season i like them best in and to make sure i want to keep them all in my collection i can possibly pare down this 15 but we'll see so i'll start with these nine zero polishes so these were all from the same collection last year and they remind me of a watermelon which is really cute and I don't know how I feel about these. I think they're super beautiful. They look amazing on Jess, but I don't know if I love the shard glitter on me. So I want to test these more and see. It's so hard for me to get rid of any nine, any, I said Indy, that's funny, any nine zero polish. I haven't done it yet. And I don't know. I don't know. It's too hard for me to get rid of these, but we'll see. So the first one we have is Dragon Fruit Freeze, which is the white with the black shard glitter. Then you have Kiwi Crush which is the green and the pink is pomegranate refresher. So here are what all three of these look like. Then for my other polishes, I have got a couple peachy corals, various shades of blue and various shades of green, which are definitely my go-to shades for summer. So for the peachy coral colors, the first one was limited edition from a Wet n Wild Summer Collection several years ago. This is a Wild Shine Polish in Ferris Wheel Romance, which is just a really awesome light peach color that isn't too orange or too pink, which I love. Then we have a really pretty pink coral. This is OPI Got Myself Into a Jambalaya. And then the most pink coral I have would be Zoya's Wendy. So 
here they all are side by side so these are all different enough to me to have three of them then for polishes all four of these are like different colors of blue this first one is another of those limited edition wet and wild wild shine polishes this is chambray showers then we have got essies in the cabana which is a bit more green in it then we have this really bright neon blue this is opi fearlessly alice then we've got sally hansen extremer in pacific blue which is the bright and slightly deeper color so oh my gosh my hands aren't cooperating to show you all four of my blues so then we've got my five more greeny shades this first one's that i'm wearing my nails today this is color club supernatural this is a holographic polish i purchased this from walmart it is so beautiful it was opaque in two coats i think it looks absolutely stunning definitely recommend that one and then for my other shades i have two from formula x this one was in my spring polishes as well but i want to try it for summer this is legendary and then this color is high frequency which is a little bit deeper these need to be shaken up but hopefully you can tell this one's lighter than that one then i have opi my dog sled is a hybrid which is a little bit more muted and darker and a little bit more green than these other shades and then the last one we have is the brightest this is the berry m jelly polish and greenberry i've almost got rid of this several times because the formula is a little bit gloopy but last year when i used it i was able to make it work and the color is so amazing so here's what it looks like in comparison to that one and compared to these so guys those are all my polishes and those are all of my summer makeup must-haves again i have a ton of stuff here we'll see how much use i get out of everything i'm hoping that i can use all of the palettes at least once and i might end up getting rid of a couple of them and maybe a couple single shadows so that would be great I like to test things in order to declutter them. So we'll see what happens, but I hope I can get a lot of good use out of these products. It also depends again on how much time or for how much longer that Virginia is gonna be quarantined. So we will see about that, but I would love to know what are your go-to color families or go-to products that you love in the summertime. I would love to know your thoughts on the products that I've chosen. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.